This is Vaughn from Live School, and I'm going to show you a big on-screen keyboard that we've created that we've found is useful as a teaching aid in face-to-face uh, -face classes as well as online demonstrations. It's built in Max for Live, uh, and you can see when I play MIDI notes on my controller here, they appear on the screen. If I just open this up and show you how it works, uh, it's really quite simple. The main control is what's called a K-slider object. Uh, if we open up the Max documentation, you'll see that there's ample information about uh, messages that it sends and receives. So in this case, it's expecting pitch and velocity information, uh, which is provided by the note in object up the top left. And these messages are then joined into a list by the join object. A list is a message containing multiple parts. So the note in uh, has three outputs, the pitch and velocity, and also the MIDI channel that we're not interested in at this stage. The other thing to see here is that there's a MIDI in connected directly to a MIDI out. And the reason for that is, although this is a max MIDI effect, we're not actually doing anything to the MIDI information that comes in. We're simply passing it straight through uh, to any instrument that might be on this track. The other control here is the bass octave, which is simply offsetting the incoming MIDI notes by a number of octaves. So we can go about uh, creating a simple one by creating a new max MIDI effect. And you'll see that uh, it has the MIDI in going straight to the MIDI out by default. Uh, the other thing to note is that it starts off in patching mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and go to the patcher inspector and tell it to open in presentation mode. If I switch to presentation mode, um, you'll see that everything disappears. To create a new object in Max, press N, start typing, and you'll see that there's autocomplete. Type in K-slider, and a K-slider appears. Now we want to resize it to fill the available space. Switch back into patching mode and drag the keyboard to make some space. So you can organize objects on the screen however you want in patching mode and when you go back into presentation mode they'll just snap back into place. We need a note in and a join to join the pitch and velocity together and then send that off to the keyboard. The other thing we need to do is to put the K slider into polyphonic mode which allows multiple notes to be displayed at once. While we're here, note that the low MIDI key offset is 36. What this means is that the far left key is going to be C2. We also want to select ignore click so that the keyboard doesn't respond to mouse clicks. And now we're done. Time to close and save. So you can see that it looks like it's Big Brother and works as expected.